News regarding No Jumper. Quickly, news regarding No Jumper. There's been an interview just posted recently on this guy called The Tommy G Show, a channel where I guess he goes to different hoods and areas and does cool, interesting things and talks to different kinds of people and does kind of commentary, you know, documentary type style content. And he sat down with Adam22. And is it me or has Adam22 lost a lot of weight? What do you guys think? He looks Gentlemen, very different. This is the Tommy G show. You see him? We are Look at him there. He looks very, very skinny. Or am I um, being a little bit over the top here? And I wonder, is this the stress from everybody leaving No Jumper and him basically being responsible for imploding the flipping platform? Is he maybe on a health kick? Is he back on the DRUGS? What's going on here? Because he looks really, really skinny, man. We are here with Adam22. There's a lot of directions we could start, but first I want to talk. We just did a workout. Mm. Tell us about your fitness journey, man. About six months ago, I went on a BMX trip to Brooklyn and rode bikes every day, like eight, ten hours a day. Mm. And I was, uh, and by the end of that, what trip do you think? He, I'm about to say, I'm not just sure if he looks druggy. He just looks like he's lost a lot of weight because he's been like you said maybe his bike a lot and maybe just you know stress as well on top of that it doesn't look druggy to me it looks like stress and it looks like you know being active because from what i've been hearing of people speaking rumblings the money's in no jumpers not the same anymore everyone's pay has been cut because obviously all the big wigs all the big timers all the you know blockbuster people the ad's the terrells the house phones the dunos the smacks all those people have left so they're not pulling in as much views as they were before if that's the case money's down across the board if money's down across the board adam's nut is down also but his expenses are still what they are so you know something has to give you have to pay the people that are still there you just still generate the content it's a bit mad so i think all of that is definitely going to be on his back and especially if you think about it they moved to a whole entire new studio he bought that amazing warehouse that they had where they threw i think only two christmas parties i think unfortunately right they threw two christmas parties and then the rest of it kind of went to cup up but 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 I would imagine the rent in that place isn't cheap. It's not cheap, the rent in that place. So you've got to pay the rent still. Um, your costs are still what they are, but you're not making as much. That's probably going to leave some lasting damage on a lot of people. But anyway, let's, let, let's, let's hear what he has to say about himself. Trip, I was just like, yo, I can't do this anymore. And I just started eating real clean and working out way harder. And I've actually been averaging like way more weight loss than I thought I was going to be because, you know, normally try to lose like a pound a week mm -hmm. and i've been like quite a bit out in front of that so yeah i'm just really enjoying it loving the the discipline the self-control and i'm trying to lose like another i don't know 10 15 pounds trying to really get to like real deal shape with like abs Shredded. and then i'm gonna start trying to bulk and like really pack some muscle on so i'm just you know it, it's really giving me something to focus on and i'm just really enjoying it i've been working out my whole life but i never really got super serious about it until this i guess that's what happens when you don't pay niggas, isn't it? When you don't pay the niggas, <laughs> that's what happens. This is all his own fault, man. Honestly, the guy really fucked up. Such a great thing. No jump with all those guys was so good. The energy was absolutely amazing, was unmatched. And Adam 22, anyway, was usually, in my opinion, has always been quite an unlikable person. But the people around him and the content he created kind of made you put up with him. He was insufferable, but you kind of, you know, put up with him because the work was good. The moment the work started to suffer, there's no point on tuning in anymore with him. Do you know what I mean? That's the main issue he's always had. He's never really been a likable person. He's always come across like a bit of a cunt. And once it was confirmed that he was a cunt, even to the people who were responsible for breathing new life into the platform, helping him do more interesting things, everything went to dust unfortunately for him unfortunately um but yeah he's looking really well he's looking really wild i was gonna say really well but if he says he's losing weight and he's working out and he's feeling healthy then that's what he says so wish him all the luck um check out the entire interview if you want it's here courtesy of this channel called the tommy g show you can see it there that's what the headlines called it's like what is it sorry adam jumpers i don't know adam 22 sorry speaks on no jumper controversy is scamming and being a porn star of course what else is he going to speak about hey eh? look at that identity of course he's going to speak about that shit so check it out if you want check it out if you want